It is day four of the Chicago Teachers Union strike and there still is not a clear end in sight. Now Passengers Charter School, which is not part of CPS, has also announced its teachers are on strike. That is where we find Diana Gutierrez. Diana. Hey Amy, good morning. Passages, education staff and the teacher personnel here, as you can see behind me, are joining in the picket lines with CPS teachers and staff as well. Many people from Pierce Elementary, which is right down the street, came over to join. And with me this morning to break down how exactly everything went down yesterday is Ann, who's a paraprofessional. Ann, how did we get to this point? Well, we've been bargaining since April. This is our second contract. So a lot of the things that we were addressing in this contract aren't new. They were problems that we had with the first contract. They were things that we advocated for in the first contract, such as fair wages and, you know, better resources for our students. And up until now, we've had actually a similar situation as CTU is having, where our employer has not wanted to talk about uh, non-mandatory issues of bargaining. But for, the, for us, those things were important. So we did want to talk about wraparound services. We wanted to talk about sanctuary schools because we have a huge population of refugees and immigrants at our school, and it's really important to us to make sure that they get everything that they deserve. So like I said, we've been bargaining since April, but we've had very little movement, and only recently have we been able to table everything that's not economic. And now it's it's a standstill they're not we don't believe that they're offering us a fair and competitive wage or fair and competitive benefits and so for the parents out there for both charter and cps schools now that this is the first charter school to go on strike this year what message do you have for them we want to be inside we do we really want to be in, in there with our students we know that we can give them the best education that they deserve but that we are also tired of struggling to get the resources the the therapists, the nurses, we don't have people on our staff that are um, nurses or psychologists like CTU or CPS schools would have, but we are still looking for proper staffing of those positions, even if our students don't legally require a certain number of minutes of it. Yeah, absolutely. And thank you so much for thank joining you. us. Thank you for explaining thank exactly you. what happened. We'll be hearing from Mayor Lori Leifel later on this morning. We'll keep you guys updated with the latest. I'm live in Andersonville this morning. Diana Gutierrez, The Jam.